But to get down to creating your very first web page, what we'll do is we'll just go to this section here, basic HTML, and we'll just copy that straight off the screen. We'll go into Text Wrangler and we'll create a new doc and we'll just paste it in there. Okay, so it's quite important when you're uh, doing your coding to have everything set out nice and neat. And what you want to do is definitely use tabs. Like, I mean, this is the, when you look at any code, um, and it's important to look at other people's code to sort of figure out what's right. You, you want to use tabs to set everything out and even white space, the use of white space is really helpful. Um, and commenting is, is really good and we'll go over that. I'll show you an example of that. So if we save this now, um, save, and we're just going to call it, we're going to save it into our BS folder and we're going to call it uh, Twitter Bootstrap 101. Okay, so that's saved now. If we go back into that folder here, we see Twitter Bootstrap 101, and we're gonna open it up with Firefox, and we get this. See, it's titled Bootstrap 101 Template, and it says, hello world. It's not really looking that flash. So we wanna jazz it up. So this is just the basic HTML, but what we wanna do is we wanna utilize the Twitter Bootstrap styling and JavaScript. So we go back into uh, where did it go? Go back into here, and we can see that we haven't called up any styling links. So in the head is where we put all our CSS styling, and then down in the body, we've called up one script here. This is where all the scripts go, and the scripts always go at the end of your body, and that helps your page load faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the Bootstrap page. And what's great about this Twitter Bootstrap website is everything's here. Like, I mean, if you actually just sit down and read through this website, you don't even need to listen to my terrible voice giving you these tutorials. But what you'll see is that they've shown it here saying, okay, well, this is the Bootstrap template. So we'll copy that and we'll put it in over the top and I'll highlight what's different. So firstly, you'll notice that in the head section now we've got this. So this is a comment. So any, a comment always starts with um, the less than dash 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 and then after this you can write what you want and it won't show in the browser and then you've got to close it off with dash dash greater than the comments are really important just for explaining what's going on so you see this link right here so we've got a link and the reference is a folder CSS and in that folder we're calling up bootstrap.min.css this is what's going to make it look nice then in the body We've got the same stuff that we had before. So we've got that same title, Hello World. We've got that same script that we saw before, but now there's also another script in there. So there's some Java in here called bootstrap.min.js. And in later tutorials, we'll start showing some examples of what that does. And this is your basic setup. Like for all of your templates, they're going to have these components. You always have to include this tag at the top to let it know, to let the browser know that that's what type of HTML you're using. You're always going to have an HTML tag and then end with a closed HTML tag. So to close your tag, you've just got this forward slash, open head tag, closed head tag. So your title or your metadata or your CSS links go up in here. And don't worry about all the stuff I'm talking about. We'll, you'll cover it later. Then you've got your body tag, and then inside your body tag, all this stuff here is the stuff that's going to show up inside your browser window. So if we save that now and go back to our page Bootstrap 101 and we refresh it, 
All right, it's changed and it looks a bit nicer. So we'll do a couple of other things. We'll um, right, let's add a, uh, a hero unit. So what I'm doing here is I'm calling up a class that is inside the styling sheet. So inside this bootstrap styling thingamajigger. And in here, once I do this, this is going to put it into like a nice little box and make it look flash. So we go back in here and cool, we've got a great background. It's marvelous. Um, there's some other cool little tags which as you go on you'll learn, hello world, I'm a hero unit, I look flash. And then we close that tag off and refresh it. And there we are. Hello, I'm a hero unit. So there's all sorts of different things that you can do. So if you compare that compared to what we first had, which was, I'll just show you what happens when we comment out that link. So see how this link's gone gray? We've just commented it out. So all of a sudden that CSS file is not going to work. So we'll save it and we go back in here and now there's no CSS, right? So there's no styling and it looks shit balls. We go back in here, we turn on the styling again, we take out the comments. And I'll just show you this too. See how I've left that in there? If I, ah, look, don't worry about that. Cool, so it's back. All right, and there you go. That's your very first web page. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.